Hi guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video and stopping by. So if you are a returning subscriber, you will probably realise that I am back in my old bedroom at my parents' house, which feels really weird because I have over the last two months moved but we've got builders and electricians and everyone in and it was really becoming hard to film so yeah i'm here to film one maybe two videos i don't know it's absolutely boiling so yeah i do apologize for the kind of not very interesting background also if you can hear some noise outside really sorry but it's 34 degrees i'm not filming with the windows closed <laughs> but yeah today i'm doing a huge homeware haul like i said i have moved recently over the last two months so lots of new bits to kind of fill the rooms and do finishing touches to them i do promise i will do a house update and like room updates as soon as everything is somewhat done i've got lots of time lapses and stuff ready to go as well so yeah i haven't completely forgotten about filming all of that but for now, I'm going to get on and show you everything that I bought. A lot of this is from Zara Home, B&M, Home Essentials, Next, those kind of shops. So yeah, I will make sure I try and leave everything linked down below or I'll at least leave the shops that I got everything from. Okay, so the first bits that I am going to start off with are from Zara. Obviously, the home section. I actually think Zara home section is really underrated. I will have a Zara clothing haul coming soon as well, by the way. The first thing I picked up was actually two of these really gorgeous flower candles. They're basically just this gorgeous white cream colour. This is probably the prettiest candle I've ever seen. Honestly, it's stunning. It's basically just flowers all the way around, like little white roses and then we've obviously got the candle wick up here so yeah i picked two of those up and these will probably go in my office i'm going for kind of like a white and light pink or dusky pink kind of theme and it is very nearly done i'm just waiting on a desk now and like i said a few finishing touches but i think to put these to put both of these little candles on i will probably use this beautiful little tray so you could use this for so many different things you could put like soaps on it you could put jewelry on here anything really again obviously this was from zara and it's just got the most beautiful little pattern in here i'll bring you guys closer like i said you could use this for so many different things i think this would be really cute on a bedside table for jewelry i think in a bathroom and yeah like i said if i put let me get the other one out both of these on here on my desk i think this will look so cute and really classy as well okay next product from zara i picked up this glass bottle kind of like carafe style with this gorgeous wicker holder honestly i'm so bad at describing things basically i think this looks so nice like this it kind of gives me italian summer vibes that you can bring to your own back garden but i really liked this in particular it didn't come on its own Luke's actually got his own pizza oven out in the garden. It's like a wood fire, wood fire? It's like a wood burning pizza oven. He got it for his birthday. He's always wanted one. <laughs> and I thought it'd be so cute to put like bread and stuff in here. And you know, you can have like your wine or your Aperol out on the table when you've got your bread in here and you've got like all the pizza and just really cute out in the garden. Like I said, summer evening vibes, um, kind of bringing holiday to your back garden. So I really liked that, but also, keeping the glass jar in here you could put your wine in here you could put your water in here really really cute idea and then i think this was the last thing from zara home i got this gorgeous little ceramic pot it's this beautiful white off-white creamy color and i thought this would be really cute for putting things like cotton pads and stuff in here so again dressing table or in the bathroom i think this would look so sweet i think i might actually put this in our ensuite bathroom um i will show you in the videos i think no, it wasn't up in the moving vlogs. I think I've shown it on my Instagram, but we've got kind of like this bathroom ladder and I think this would look so cute on there. Just a cute little finishing touch. So yeah, this will probably end up in... Okay, next up, I've actually just come back from a little trip to b and I didn't pick too much up because I've only recently... I've only recently done a B&M haul, so that will be linked down below if you'd like to watch that. But yeah, I did just pick up a few things that I thought I'd show you guys. First thing is this gorgeous little blush coloured lantern. I think this is so stunning. So I actually picked two of these up. They were £7 each and they're just so beautiful. I think obviously this will look lovely in a garden. I think especially if you've got those kind of like white patio paving slabs. Oh, this will look gorgeous. Um, but again, I think this will probably end up in my little office. Um, 
I feel like I buy so much from my office and half of it's probably not going to end up in there. But, you know, it's the thought that counts. They're super inexpensive, so wherever they end up, I'm sure they will look really nice. But yeah, you could just get one of those big candles, put them in, and not really homeware, but I did pick up this water bottle from B&M. It was just three pounds and it's just got my initials so c in rose gold writing they had a really gorgeous tumbler like a matte purple one kind of like almost almost like a big starbucks cup and i really really wanted that but the straw looked like it had been chewed and sorry especially with corona i am not I don't mess with that. Like, why are you in B&M chewing a straw? I don't get it. So that went straight back on the shelf, but hopefully next time I go in, they will have some more unchewed ones. But they were gorgeous, but I just thought I'd pick this up because I don't know, I always drink so much more water when I drink from bottles like this. So yeah, top tip. I then also picked up a huge Seflora. This is the pink grapefruit one. I haven't actually smelt this scent, so I'm hoping it's nice. It's probably not the best thing to just like open it up and inhale it, but... I'm gonna do it anyway oh my god that is so fresh that smells amazing that smells so nice so yeah i love getting the big ones from b&m because i always feel like they're a little bit cheaper than the supermarket ones honestly. next from b&m i picked up this set of posters there is four in here and these actually match a set of stacking mugs that I showed in my last B&M haul. If I can find the clip, I will insert it here. But yeah, they match the exact pattern of the mugs and we don't actually have any coasters. Or we do, but they're like a completely different print. So yeah, I thought I'd pick these up. You get four in here for five pounds and yeah, they just look so cute and I love that they match the mugs that we have. Also then picked up this laundry hamper with handles. This was seven pounds and as you can see, this is what it will look like when it's constructed. So it's just this kind of dark black grey colour and it's got these little pom-poms on here. I thought this was really cute. And then, I think, last but not least from B&M, saving the best till last, I've got this Cadbury's Highlights Hot Chocolate. This is only 38 calories, which is great for if you are trying to maybe watch your calorie intake. I don't know, personally I don't really count calories, but I prefer the taste of this one to the regular one as well. I don't know what it is, but this was super inexpensive. Okay, next up, I can't remember where all of these things came from. I know they all came from Next, Asda, Home Essentials, but yeah, where every individual thing came from, I'm not entirely sure. I will try and link them, or you can probably guess where most things are from, but I think I am going to start off with some bits that I know are from. The first thing I got is this huge hexagonal candle. So again, it's just this gorgeous white cream colour, and it has five wicks in here, which I absolutely love. It's just a really nice fresh kind of warm vanilla scent and I think, I know it's summer, I know we don't want to be talking about like autumn and stuff yet, but I love big candles burning like this throughout autumn and winter, so I would probably save that until then, but this was something like £5 and it's absolutely huge, so such a bargain. I then got this beautiful little planter and stand, again this was from Asda, I absolutely love this, as you can tell there's a bit of a black and white theme going on. Mine and Luke's bedroom is actually black and white. We're still kind of finishing it, but I don't know if this will go in there or maybe somewhere in the hallway because we finally got a table for the kind of like front porch hallway. So that will possibly go in there. But yeah, I love this and it's actually so big as well. So I need to get some more plants from Ikea because I feel like you can never have enough Ikea plants. Okay, this little guy is from Next and it's the cutest thing ever. It's like the tiniest little vase and I think it is adorable. Again, this is going to be something that just sits on my desk or my dressing table. But it's just that black. Oh, actually, this could go in our bedroom because it's black and white. Why? My window literally just opened by itself. Yeah, I thought this is so cute and it's probably a little bit impractical. But it was like five, six pounds and you can definitely, I can definitely find things to fit in here. Okay, then from Beautify, I feel like everyone owns these, but they are so stunning that I had to pick them up. There's three of these little pom-pom baskets. So obviously they go big one, middle one, little baby one. I mean, it's not really baby, it's like this. These are so good for storage. They are brilliant for plants. Um, I know for sure I'm going to use the big one as storage. I think possibly the small one I might use for holding a plant or something in. But yeah, I love them. I love the little pom-poms and these are going to look so cute. We've got a room which is kind of bright white and then it's got like a dusty pink colour somewhere. And I know that these are going to look beautiful in there. So that is probably where these will go. Then for our bedroom, I picked up this gorgeous black 
throw. Again, it's just got these little pom-poms on the bottom. Um, so we're going for like black and white theme, like I said. So our duvet is white and then we're adding black accessories and a lot of our units and stuff are white. So yeah, it's a lot of kind of little black accessories being dotted everywhere. And this is beautiful. This was quite a pricey item, um, but it's such a nice quality. It's honestly so soft and I know that it will it won't shed when it gets washed and it will really kind of like last. I absolutely love this one. Although holding this up whilst we are in 34 degree heat, it's kind of not great. <laughs> then from Asda, I picked up this really beautiful sparkly black photo frame. I don't actually know if you can see it properly. Again, just thought this would be really nice on one of the shelves in our room to kind of tie in with the colour scheme. And I love the little bit of glitter on here. From John Lewis, I picked up this three scented candle gift set. And this was actually in the sale for £20. So I had to pick, so I had to pick it up. Um, first of all, packaging is adorable. Look how cute these little candles are. I love that they are glass and they've all got different patterns on them. When I tell you these are dupes for Jo Malone candles so dreamy so all of them have a different scent which is perfect because you can dot them around at different rooms in the house honestly they smell unreal i will try and link these down below because you need to get your hands on them and like i said they're so much cheaper than jo malone candles but they smell identical okay i feel like everyone and their mum owns this but i picked up some pampas grass this is definitely a big trend on like instagram interior accounts and I've definitely got lots of inspiration from, there's a girl that I follow called Keely. it's Keely's Journey, again if I remember I'll link it down below, her house is beautiful, it's absolutely stunning, and she has all these kind of bits in her house, so I had to pick some up. From Amazon I found this huge glass jar or vase, whatever you want to call it, so obviously I'll separate them out, but I think this will look so gorgeous probably in the living room or again maybe my filming room or my office maybe our bedroom literally anywhere in the house this is gonna look so cute and then last but not least i picked up another white bed set so this is a brushed cotton set so this is probably going to be a little bit better for colder weather and this is a king size one and it's just got again these gorgeous little white pom-poms at the top i don't know how well you can see them but I think I'm going for kind of like a little bit of a pom-pom theme without even realising. So guys, that is the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe down below for more. Like I said, I will be uploading more home content um, to do with our house and like progress and stuff very soon. But yeah, we're kind of in the process of still having things built and that kind of thing. Don't forget to also head over to my Instagram and give me a follow over there if you want to. I will leave that link down below. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I will catch you in my next one.